Hey there, everybody. Maddie D. Even a black health TV emotional and the physical well being. Change that. I gotta change it to, uh. Um... Sorry, I'm taking water right now. Uh, got another channel that deals with the whole financial aspect of life. Put the link in the description below. But, anyways, today's video, um, you know, how to handle, to how to handle toxic moms, you know. And, or if you're watching and so you get a toxic father, toxic parents, it, it, it's the same thing. It applies to anybody. I want to make this short video because I finished working out and I stink to high hell right now. I need to eat. So, anyways, um, toxic parents. You don't, the one thing, I have a video about six signs of a toxic mom. I'll put that link in there too. Uh, the, the link for that should be in the video, um, should be in the, in the description below. You gotta understand that you gotta understand the signs of what a toxic parent is, a toxic mother is. And basically it comes down to, man, it's it's a relationship with your mother, or it could be your father, even though it's about moms right now for, for this video. That basically drains the shit of you, physically, emotionally, um, you know, in some cases financially too, where a mother who is toxic just becomes a parasite, lives off of you. And I was watching a video yesterday while doing some research. You know, with our parents, they have the biggest impact on us because they we're born, they bring us, they bring us into this planet, they raise us, and we look to them for acceptance, you know. And if you want to end this cycle of toxicity with your mother, you have to put your foot down and stop putting out the energy of acceptance. You know, and it's hard as hell to do. Way you said done because it is so ingrained from day one that first look, yeah, 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 fuck this, I'll stop. But then it, you go back to the unconscious pattern of what you've been doing and going through the same bullshit. So one, you have to make the decision as of right now to say, fuck this, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm gonna look out for me, my well-being, my health, my happiness, my finances, if they're if your parent, if your mother's taking money from you, and get my shit right. That's number one. Two, this first thing, this next thing you next thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage you to do is write down what I do with my mother, is write down the pattern that happens with them. Like what keeps happening? Like what emotions do you keep have do you, do you, do you keep do you keep experiencing with this relationship with your mother who's toxic, you know? Do you keep feeling stressed out, pissed off? Uh, reject or whatever and like what are the actions what do you do what happens what's the cycle when you put the cycle on paper you'll see what you're doing you're gonna go oh shit this is not helping at all now the next thing you want to do after that is start feeling out the emotions you have the anger the frustration take time to do that you know simply breathe in breathe out and feel out whatever whatever it is on your body and start letting the emotions come out experiencing them let them complete themselves this way you can get out of it Okay. The fourth thing is you have to be con you have to become consciously aware of the pattern because once you become aware of it, you know, it's good to know, but you, you may slip back into it. It's very easy to do so. That's where you have to like kind of stop and go, stop, wait. She's doing this, you need to stop and go, how am I going to respond? You know, what works best for me? That's the question I I, I had to ask myself that recently because my mother and I remember talking, but she sent me a card for Christmas and all she wrote in there was mom. She didn't write anything else, and I, had, I and I was like, I was like, wait a minute, let me think about this, because I, if I had done something else, I would have gone right back in the same bullshit pattern, and I'd stop and say, wait, now, how do I want to respond to this? One, two, what works best for me? When you ask those questions, you will stop, and you'll think, hmm, what am I gonna do? So truly. How to handle it. Now, if you're living with a parent, it's a little, that's that's tougher, I know, but you gotta make a plan to get out of the house. I mean, if you got if you had a couch surf for the time being, do it, but you'll feel happier because you are actually, you'll have a chance to heal. Because that type of shit just bogs you the fuck down. And it's not healthy. It's not healthy at all, you know? A relationship with your mom, a parent, should be one that should be loving, happy, great, fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll get mad at me every once in a while, but. They come to you, they understand, they, they, they acknowledge that you're an adult, that you're gonna make your own decisions. They'll share with you, you know, how they feel, and they'll, and at the end, they say, hey, but you're gonna do you, I still love you regardless, you know? Like, no pressure. Not a parent that hounds you for shit all the time, and then uses the, the, the bullshit excuse, why, bro, you owe me, blah, 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 and yet they're unhappy as fuck, and no one wants to deal with them. And even though you, you, do, you, you do what they ask for, it's driving you nuts on the inside. That's not a healthy relationship with anybody, you know? Um, so let's review. What do you do? 
again, here's steps. Step one, write this shit down. Step one, you decide right here and now, you ain't gonna take shit anymore, you're gonna put your foot down and not and not enable the behavior and take your power back. That's one. Two, because at the end of the day, no one can control you unless you give them permission to do so. It applies to anyone, even your mother. Tough to do because everyone's because we're growing up, oh you're your parents, you're supposed to obey them. If you're in your thug fucking thirties, you live in the house with them, you're in the way. No the fuck you don't. It's your life. So decide right hand right right here now, you ain't gonna do their shit. Number two. Number two. Get pen, pencil, sheet of paper, and write down the emotions and the actions in this bullshit cycle, what happens with you and your mother. So you can see it and go, whoa. Okay, it's number two. Number three. Take some time on a daily basis and simply breathe breathe in, long inhales, long exhales, and feel out the emotions that you feel, the anger, the resentment, whatever it is. Find out, find out what it is in your body, place your hand on it, and just breathe in, and eventually the feeling go away, okay? Um, when was the last one I kind of forgot? Number four is, you know, when your mother comes back in and starts, starts some stuff, you can either tell her what's going on, or you can just read stop and say stop, ask these questions, how am I going to respond to this? And what works best for me? Do that over and over and over and over and over. And you will feel better, feel happier, and shit will change. Shit will change not just in this area of your life, but in all areas of your life. Because how you do one thing, you know, um, shows you everything. But how you do one, if you prove one area in your life, everything else gets better. Because everything else is connected. Because why? You are literally the center of your own universe. So if you improve one area, and you improve, well, then everything else get everything else you know gets better too. That's the way it works. So hope this helps. Um, if you want more help on this, you want more assistance on this, I do coaching sessions. I'll do a free consultation the first time we speak. I'm we'll talk about working together. This video went way longer than I wanted it to be, but uh, my contact number is below. Shoot me an email. Um, let me know your thoughts or like, comment on this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and you know. This needs to go out to people who are tired dealing with a toxic mother, or in some case, toxic father, you know? It's not healthy. So, hope this helps. Love you. Get in the black. Reach out to me. I'm here to help. Deuces.